And that's what got this fucking dinner conversation where it went off the rails is I was talking to this person about CRISPR, which I'm fascinated by. And I go like, Hey, do you ever think this is what I said to the person not realizing this? I said, do you ever think like how crazy it's going to be that like my daughter's generation? Well, we're, we're the last generation to die. My daughter's probably going to be an immortal because of CRISPR. And this person looked at me and said, uh, oh, JC, watch that's out for not your mic true. There. And they said, JC, like that's not true. I said, what do you mean? They said, because God. And I said, what do you whoa, mean? Whoa. They said, okay. Whoa. That, no, that's my point. Like it came out of nowhere, bro. Cause this is a person who's never, this is a person who's never said the word God to me in a, two years of knowing them. I've never heard them say anything religious. And that one time I'm making a joke about how my daughter's a vampire. They go, <laughs> uh, no, can't be immortal because God. And I go, I said, like I said to them, I like almost was taken aback. And I said, are you like, do you like believe in God and shit? And then they said, oh, you said, said that? yes, you don't. That, that, that <laughs> yeah. was, kind, that was kind of rude. Yeah. A little bit. No, that fuck was a little it. Bit I thought abrasive. I was having a, yeah, but for I a said, dinner party, God and shit? <laughs> we've, we've kind of stepped over like, oh no, comfortable conversation at a dinner party. <laughs> well, this is where I might've gotten in. This might've started the downhill slope to fucking being in a fight later on in the evening. So uh, yeah, I said, that's what I, God yeah, and shit? I was going to say. And then uh, that person goes, yeah, you don't. And I go, ah, I'm 50, 50. That's what I said. <laughs> and, and then I said, then I followed it up and I said, do you believe like, and then I had kind of whispered a little bit. I said, do you believe like a dude like walked on the fucking water? And they were like, oh yeah, definitely. And I said, <laughs> that is believe, so true. Like, I've seen Chris live? Angel do it. His, he's an angel. Huh. Yeah, and I said, do you believe like a, a fucking two of every animal went on a boat one time? And they went, oh, yeah, definitely. I said, do you believe a dude lived in a Wells belly for three days? Oh, yes. And then I said, why? How? Oh, yes. Oh, they yes. Were like, they were like, uh, they were like, well, times were different then. And I said, was there magic? <laughs> no, no. Because <laughs> it seems That's a good response. That in, order, in order for those to be accurate, there would have had to be magic. <laughs> and that person was looking at me and they said, well, that's, and this is the real, this is really the next sentence. They said, well, that's probably why you're going to hell. That's what they said to me. And I broke out and they looked at me very smugly. I'm sorry to laugh but at I, somebody like this, but oh, this is Dude, not, I broke out. No, here's the craziest thing. I broke out laughing. Okay, and I, I said can't, to that we, person. We have to cut all this. Golly. No, we don't. I can't laugh in the face of somebody that believes. Oh Well, no, but listen, it's yeah, but it's like logic. no, it's fine. But here's the funny thing. They looked at me and told me I was going to hell. So by all means, I have every right to relay the story because what happened next was even crazier because I made a joke about how the look on their face, like I was like, you couldn't have looked happier to tell me that I was going to burn in a lake of fire. And then the way I said like, it, was this getting laughing. heated or was this just like blindly no, smiling? No, very, yeah. This is no, this is very light. This is light, right? Because we're joking when we're saying this. So the next thing I know, this person's taking a drink of water and I make a joke about how they told me like the, I made a joke about how they were smiling while they told me I was going to go to hell. They thought it was the funniest thing they'd heard in, the, in their life. And then because they started laughing while drinking water, all of a sudden they, the, the water went down the window. They started pipe, right? choking and you let, watch them die. No, it gets, dude, it got so crazy. Oh, so it got worse than that. Because the that'd be the, they, like, water, the most ironic thing. You're going to hell, and then they just no, choke on water? Bro, here's the crazy thing. Water goes down the windpipe. They stand up like it's deaf comedy jam. They start walking the other direction. Everybody's laughing and clapping like, oh, this is fucking, can't believe how hard this person's laughing. We're all laughing. It's good. Next thing you know, you start hearing. <gasps> and then next thing we realize this person is, uh, uh, we thought maybe choked on a brownie or like was dying. And so like they're hyperventilating, leaned over a table. Somebody runs out of nowhere. I've never seen. There were four different strangers who attempted the Heimlich on this person. And this person was trying to push them away going, I, I've choked on water. I, what, I don't have a piece don't, of don't stick break my in my throat. So the next thing you know, I see this old lady who just, by the way, when it gets into Heimlich territory, apparently strangers are very, everyone wants to be the hero because four different people ran up. And by the way, I didn't want to be the hero because I sat oh. in my chair going, oh, did I just kill someone? I don't know if I killed <laughs> someone with laughter. You called uh, down the hand and, of the God. Like it, it's true. 
You well, have to maybe believe God's now. on my side then. Maybe God was like, yes, I'm not fucking magic. Choke on some water. So, uh, so, <laughs> but mean, this stranger, the stranger starts doing the Heimlich to this person. And this person is shoving this, like, imagine one hand is on the stranger's like head, pushing them away. Like, don't rape me. Don't rape me. And the stranger is like, no, I'm going to save your life. And so they're trying to Heimlich. And then the person's pushing them away. And then that it goes through three or four different people who have now surrounded trying to do the Heimlich. Then somebody starts yelling, run yourself into the table. Run yourself <laughs> into the table. This, this is the person that and, you uh, were at the dinner party with. Yes. And they're still oh at this my. point going, <laughs> right. That's still the sound coming from. It's very disconcerting. It's like someone's going to die. Okay, so then yeah. eventually, eventually there's yelling, there's strangers, there's attempted Heimlich maneuvers. And at some point the person goes, I'm okay. Like they finally caught their breath. Cause they were just, they had just choked on some water. <laughs> okay. Right. But it was a scary level of choking. And then they finally like raised their hand. It was like, it was like they were resurrected like Jesus. I'm okay. And then the strangers fucking dissipated in the dark, like ninjas. And I fucking said, never in my life have I seen so many attempted Heimlich maneuvers. Okay. Like it was the crazy. And then the craziest part to me was when they realized that they couldn't achieve the Heimlich and they just literally started yelling, run yourself into the table, run yourself into the table. What? It was fucking insane, dude. So, and then by the way, it got very quiet because we were in a, a very busy place. Yeah. Where were you? Like, th like we were in, the uh, uh, in my head, this has all been happening at the Olive Garden. <laughs> It's essentially, think of like a Mexican restaurant version of the Olive Garden. And uh, there was like, we were in the back. This place is packed. There's probably 200 people in this place. And at some point, you after this happened, you could hear a pin drop because everybody's looking around going like, what the fuck like, just happened? Do, do we eat? <laughs> do we continue eating now? <laughs> I know. I, then, do we clap? I said, <laughs> but then I started making jokes about it immediately afterwards. I was like... I have never seen so many attempted Heimlich maneuvers in my life. And then I started shaming all the people at the table who didn't stand up. I was like, by the way, you fucking wanted to let a person die. You didn't do shit either. You, you didn't do anything either. 